To get the shower working took some innovation and if you're interested just watch this short video. The setup needed 110 volt electric power and for this I laid an electrical cable that needs to be plugged in to our generator or into an outlet in the cabin. The white cable you see comes down the hill and is hidden in a hollow tree. And as it appears it's plugged into an extension cord that has a switch which feeds two extension cords in a three-way plug. The plugs feed a sump pump and a pressure pump. The sump pump causes water to flow into the hose and is connected to the pressure pump. The pressure pump is needed to generate 40 psi pressure to operate the on-demand water heater. Another hose is connected from the pressure pump and is attached to the water heater intake connection. Next to the water heat intake is the water output hose that feeds the shower head. Between the in and output hoses is an on and off switch for the tankless water heater. Now this unit is a gas burner unit that ignites and heats the air inside the heat exchanger. Therefore the hose on the left connects the water heater gas inlet to a propane tank. To take a shower just flip the switch beside the shelf to get the water flowing and there you go.